Today's family night. Boy. So, Dad, what are you cooking for the whole family? Well, a lot of debate here. Henry and Alfred have been going after for hours. I mean, they wanted to make prime rib. They're trying to ask me to do another souffle. They wanted latkes earlier today. That was weird. Yeah, that was really weird. They want pasta, and not just any pasta. They want angelotis. It's essentially pillows. Super fancy ravioli. Fluffy pillows. Was that supposed to be funny? So with the angelotti, I'm thinking that we keep it nice and spring and light. Some peas, some mushrooms, prosciutto, asparagus, parmesan cheese. Mm, mm, mm. Get that color pop. Yeah. Mm. Dad? It's making nasty. For the pasta dough, we're going to need 250 grams of flour. You need one whole egg, 115 grams of egg yolk, 20 grams of milk, 8 grams of olive oil, 4 grams of salt. Start by having all of your dry ingredients in a big circle. Add your egg yolks, milk, and olive oil in the middle. Use a fork and gently roll it around to start to build and develop your dough. Once your dough is starting to stick together, you want to use your hands and you want to knead it. You want to knead for no more than four to five minutes. If you over knead, the dough will be tough and will be hard to roll out. When your dough is done, you need to plastic wrap it and let the dough rest. Let the dough rest for one hour, and as it's resting, we're going to make our filling. Start with your onions in a saute pan. Then, add your veggie stock. Cook on low heat until the potatoes are effortlessly tender. Once tender, put everything into the blender. Blend until smooth. Put it in the fridge to cool. While your filling is cooling down, you can start to roll out your pasta. I always like to start rolling pasta with manageable size. For this recipe, cutting it in half is perfectly fine. Start by trying to roll out your pasta as thin as you can on your own. Send it through the largest setting first. I like to roll it three settings lower, and then I will laminate the dough. By laminating the dough, you are building strength within the pasta so that when we fill it, it does not burst. Roll the pasta out to a consistency in which you can see it almost through your hand when you pick it up. The idea is that the pasta is thin enough that you can see through it when it's finished. Once your pasta is rolled out, you want to make sure that it is covered so it does not dry out and cut it into manageable sheets. Brush the bottom of your pasta with your hand or a brush. Pipe the filling across the pasta. You can leave as much space or as little as you want in this step. This is all preference. The tighter the better. You want to use your pasta machine and cut right down the middle in between each pinch you make. This will cause the pasta to flip and roll up. For your sautéed vegetables, start with your mushrooms on a medium heat. Add your butter, then shallots. Once the shallots are tender, add the asparagus, peas, and cook for one minute. Well, looks like we're going to be the only family members eating tonight. And I am totally okay with that. Let's dig in. Let's do this. Okay, you got to get a little bit of everything, yeah, or else it doesn't count. Yep, got to get the prosciutto, the mushrooms, oh, and the lodi. Really important you get that prosciutto on. That's a nice added salt on top of the whole dish. The lemon just makes it explode with flavor. Oh. It's like a perfect spring dish. Yeah. Oh man, cats are really missing out. There's nothing better than fresh pasta. Yeah, no. And like I said, guys, it's so easy to make. Just, you know, you got the time at home. Take it, learn the craft. It's a lot of fun. And it tastes good, too. It's also a good party trick. Thank you so much for joining us for our pasta family night tonight. We'll catch you backstage next week on, on The, the Supper Club. Club. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our page, and comment below what you want us to make next week on The Supper Club.